Hello everyone, welcome back to Complete Laravel e-commerce project tutorial series. Today we're going to make this section dynamic and actually from today's video you will see Laravel liveware in more live action in our project. So what we're going to do, we're going to make this full section working and here we're going to display all of the filter button based on how many categories you have in your database and whenever you are going to click any of that category button that category product will display here if there are any product if there's no product it will display like no product in this category something like that okay so today we will fill that so in order to do so what we have to do we have to open our home product filter component which is responsible for showing here this section okay because if you go to the view library view which is returning this home product filter component library component uh, this is the code okay raw code right now available what we're going to do here we're going to make this thing dynamic using library in this video so let's do it so open home product filter component and at top of home product filter component create two public variable okay public variable one is selected category what is selected category so whenever user are going to click on uh, button uh, category button whatever the button get clicked it will return a category id and that category id we going to store in this selected category so when we declare this public variable by default we will keep it as null next another public uh, variable i want you to create which is public categories and by default it will be a empty array perfect and later now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create here mount function public function mount to mount all of our categories from database to this category variable so how to do so just type here this then sorry this categories is equal to category colon colon all that means whatever the category we have in our database face them all and store them all in our or mount them all in our categories variable here right perfect next we want to create here another function which is going to work on like whenever we click on the button whenever we click on this uh, category button okay that means filter by category function we're going to create right now so public function filter by category so this function basically going to work when we click on the button and it will receive a category id so whenever we're going to use this function in our button click make we need to make sure that we also pass the category id in this function okay otherwise it will not work so it is receiving a category id when we click on the filter button using this filter by category then what we need to do is we need to store this category id in this selected category because when user going to click on a button and uh, this filter by category function get that button or they get that category button id that means we want to make that button selected right or that category selected clicking means selected right so what is the meaning of it how to explain like here like five six seven or ten button we are going to display whatever the button user clicked we want to make that selected right so that's what i meant here so here inside we need to type this 
then selected category is equal to the category id okay category id or you can type here like category id something like this okay perfect so whenever user click on any button uh, that button will trigger this filter by category function which will receive the category id and then directly inject that in our public variable selected category imagine now go inside the render function and fetch out all the uh, product we have on that category so for that we're going to create here another variable called products and using product model we want to fetch out all the product of that category along with the images of that products right so we want to type here products with then the images here we just define the relationship uh, if you want to fetch out that relationship data along with that product you need to uh, define it here if you go to our product model you will see uh, let me show you you will see many relationship defined here one of them is images and it will help us to get all the product related image so product with image then we want to pass here when okay when what when this selected category okay this selected category that means when it receive a category id we want to actually look or my uh, like query in our database so here we're going to pass a callback function so function it will receive a query okay query where simple category id in our database category id is going to be equal equal our this uh, selected category right simple then finally we want to take how many of the product simple we want to take like 12 of the product of that category and get them need explanation more explanation here need like we want to fetch out all the product of the selected category along with the images okay so for that reason we are telling here like when the category id of the product is equal to our this selected category we want to get or uh, take 12 of that record and get them simple now all you have to do is we have to pass them to our view so here we just passing them in a array products is equal to product variable that's it emerging now next go show our uh, home product filter component view file and here we have the button and to, what are we going to do we're going to loop here for each categories as category okay simple then what then instead of the link in our design we're going to use here button okay so we typing here button and inside of that we're going to pass where click event that means whenever this button get triggered we want to trigger the wire click and it will call our filter by category what function right filter by category function which we just created a few second or minutes before and it will also receive the category id so category then the id we want to pass here next we want to pass the same class there as well then there are more class i want to pass here but depending on either it is the 
uh, actual category who is uh, that are displaying or not okay uh, for that reason we want to pass here a simple condition so using blade we're going to write here like selected category is triple equal that means strictly equal to our category then the id okay in that case we want to pass here another uh, class that is hot else it's empty and this hot class will give this orange uh, gradient to our button that means who is if our category active we want to give that this orange um what you can say like this orange gradient style else it will be like this uh, normal button okay that's why this is next we want to pass here the category name so category then the category name perfect and let's remove this one we don't need it mm, we also pass here btn class because we are using here button so save it and refresh the page and you can see all of our category right now displaying here electronics fashion uh, home and furniture beauty and personal sports and outdoor automotive okay i click on electronics electronics get the orange shadow i click on fashion fashion gets the orange it's not shadow color and click on home and furniture it get the orange color perfect now uh, by default i also want to pass here another button to display all the category product so it's going to be wire click is equal filter by category and here all you want to do I we want to make the category id is equal to null so whenever filter by category id is going to be null it's going to display all the category um, data okay and uh, similarly we want to give this this classes and type here all products perfect now let's work on displaying the products here okay so this is our call md6 for displaying each of the products so just keeping one and removing all others because we don't need them we, we just keep one and loop through that and it will help us to display all the product So we're going to use similarly for each loop here for each and it's going to be int for each here and here it is going to pass here like products products as product okay and let me just display here the product name for now So product then uh, let me see the product name what it is called in our database I think it's just product name type here product then product name perfect for now this is okay and I want to type here something more which is like before ending this for each we want to type here like if empty okay so suppose we don't have any product of that category in that case we're going to display div containing the call 12 text center using ace five no product found 
for this category so in that case if our category don't have any product it will display this message perfect save it and now refresh we will get error like syntax error unexpected token int for each expecting else if int if something like that okay fine okay we used here empty so better we use here for else then empty then int for else in that case we will not face that error undefined variable category why okay for all categories possibly this is causing the issue in which line this is yeah in all category don't need them here refresh yeah perfect you can see all product is displaying only one product we have it displaying that if i click on electronics it is displaying no product found on this category if i click on fashion it displaying one product we have if i click on home and furniture displaying no product found in that category so perfect it displaying everything perfectly click on all product and it displaying the only product we have in our next video we will show you how to display images here and then working on add to cart okay thank you so much for watching take care bye bye